I mean, up there, you can buy buy to lets for about 40 grand. Um, so, you know, you feel like you can put them on a credit card at times. So my mastermind journey was, was a mixture of, of everything, but it ended up being a rent-to-rent -rent portfolio. That the deals that I have taken on, I've never paid a deposit for a rent-to-rent -rent deal, and I've never paid for a refurb on a rent-to-rent -rent deal either. But let's put our hands together and welcome Mark Fitzgerald. Wow, we're finally here. We finally made it to the last session. I have to say, uh, it's so good to be back in the room with everybody and to see you all. And uh, yeah, so talking about our mastermind journeys, a little bit about me. Most of you already know this, but I'm a father of two sons who are, who are my life. It's been quite an emotional journey for me throughout my life. I've never really had it that easy. I come across sometimes as cocky, sometimes as... as I don't know how I come across, to be quite honest with you, but I try and be the best person I can be and treat everybody the way I'd like to be treated. But I struggled in school. I was never very good there. Um, but if I, if, I enjoyed to do, if I enjoyed doing something or there was something that I liked, I did it and I made it happen and I made sure I got the job done and I looked after people as I was going along. So I'm married with two sons, Jack and Lewis, who gets me emotional every time I speak about those. Being a dad has been life-changing for me, um, very much so in the, in the fact that I'm very narrow-minded, very single-minded, always wanted to do you know, the big mansions, get the cars, do this, do the careers and everything. But uh, meeting Lisa changed all of that. She talked me into getting married. She talked me into having kids. And it's the best thing, actually, that I've ever done. And it's probably why I'm stood here today as well. So it's really important to me that. Worked my way through the corporate world, as we do, trying to uh, be the best I could be. Uh, and I managed to, uh, I'm a fully trained carpenter, but it was never a passion. I joined uh, the Swift Group as a carpenter and worked my way up to senior management levels there, managing teams of up to 80 people at times. But I never felt fulfilled. I never felt like it was my true purpose of what I wanted to do. And I've always wanted to start a business and do something for myself, as I say there. So I found my why in 2018 where I had an injury and uh, I had an operation on my leg and I was laid up for two months. And at the time, me and my sister were just looking at maybe buying some buy to lets up north, uh, which is where I currently live. I mean, up there, you can buy buy to lets for about 40 grand. Um, so, you know, you feel like you can put them on a credit card at times uh, compared to like, what Jennifer's been spending in it, those sort of numbers. Um, but yeah, I was laid up and I just happened to Google how to make money in property. Uh, I, I had a conventional plan of about 15, 20 years to, do, to buy some buy-to-lets, and it was trying to recycle the money. And in the end, like I say, I Googled how to, and all of these, this whole world opened up to me. You know, this guy called Zucci was there telling us that we could do rent-to-rents and purchase lease options, and there was all sorts of different people there um, telling you how to do strategies. So I started reading the books, and I started to... Um, invest in myself and I hadn't done that up to that point since I'd left school I'd never really invested in myself I had worked in a corporate world I had done you know management um, qualifications and things but nothing really that grounded you and made you think outside the box so for me uh, 2019 was the year I spent 2018 doing research and finding out things and then in the end I think 2019, I said, I'm going to build a business. It's going to be a rent-to-rent -rent business. Uh, and that's what I had my mind set up on. Um, I started going to pin events and logging on 72 hours in advance. I managed to win the foundation in the, in the prize drawer. That was a great day with Andy Haynes. Uh, I think Jennifer, I think you were at the same one. We didn't know it at the time, but our paths had crossed. And we signed up. I took my sister along with me, who's been my biggest so supporter as we've moved through this. And um, she signed us up, actually, to do the accelerator, because I said to her, I'm not paying money like that. No chance, no chance. She said, no, that's a bargain. It's a steal for the education, for the surrounding, for the network that you can build up just by doing those three days. It was a complete and utter no-brainer and one of the best things that we could have done. I did the accelerator, went to strategy implementation live at the beginning of, of uh, 2019 as well. And that was where, again, I saw the environment that Mastermind was putting people in. And I just thought, if I can get into that environment, I reckon I can fly. So for me, it was, you know, why mastermind? This is just it. Look at that chubby face, eh? I have lost some weight, haven't I? <laughs> I enjoy the pin environment. I enjoy going to the pin events. I enjoy the training. I enjoy the people that you meet there. Genuinely, you know, people do try and help each other, which when you come from a very corporate background, as everybody knows, it's not always the case. 
So for me, you know, the way that Simon teaches, the way that everybody interacts with each other is, is why I needed to get onto Mastermind. And, you know, it's a, it's a journey about mindset and your beliefs in property. And I wanted the full toolkit. So it's not just about rent to rents or purchase lease options, which is what we've been able to do. It's, it's about really getting that mindset that you can achieve anything. And if somebody's already done it, there's no reason why you can't go and do it yourself. And this is, this is the beauty of it. I've made friends which I class as friends for life in this room. You all might be thinking, well, this is our last event. I haven't got to put up with you after this. But I hope not. You know, I, I do hope that we're, you know, we're all going to stay in touch and we're all going to continue to support and help each other. Um, so my mastermind journey was, was a mixture of, of everything, but it ended up being a rent-to-rent -rent portfolio that we now call My Financial Fortress. So it was about building up a rent-to-rent -rent portfolio. I managed to get a PLO in, in that as well. Uh, and it was all about working on cash flow and building a business and a brand that's sustainable that I can then take on in the future and buy different properties and do different strategies with. So the pipeline of deals has come mainly from landlord letters. So basically it was persevering with the old landlord letters, set up systems, make sure that you continue with those systems and be consistent and persistent in what you're doing because they do work, they will get you deals, they will get you through the door and talking to people. I've also teamed up with a fellow masterminder who I met on, on Mastermind 27, Tim Ives, unfortunately can't be here today, but we have the company called Podlet, which has evolved quite massively actually over the last year or so from where we started to where we are now. And I think the pandemics had a, had a few key you know, factors in that. But I do think as well, if you can evolve, you can always keep going, you can always keep growing. Uh, we were also lucky enough to be able to launch the Great North Pin. So up in the Great North, uh, just outside of Newcastle, we now have a monthly pin event, which myself and Tim host, and that is great. It's our chance to give something back. It's our chance to really be there uh, and help others the way that we were helped when we started out. So um, I achieved, <laughs> I don't really like that, but I've achieved financial free. I haven't. I've got businesses now that pay for my life and, and the way that I live. Do you know what I mean? Financial freedom is, is a goal that I had when I was reading the books when I started out. Would I ever have financial freedom? I don't really understand what financial freedom is. I think if you're doing something that you're passionate about, if you're doing something that you enjoy, then what is financial freedom? Is it just the fact that that can pay for your lifestyle and, and keep you doing what you love to do? So that's really where I am at the moment. And it's all about making sure that you get yourself where you need to be. So I managed to do eight deals uh, from starting Mastermind in eight months which basically replaced my corporate wage. So I had six months worth of money when I left my job and I needed to make sure that I replaced my wage or I was just gonna to have to go and get another job. I wouldn't recommend doing that, but it worked out all right for me. I found these deals obviously through uh, landlord letters and most of my deals have either come through landlord letters, I've had one through a letting agent uh, and the rest of them, I haven't actually sent a marketing letter out since August 2019, yet I still get people coming to me, still get people wanting to work with me. It's about building a brand, it's about putting yourself out there, it's about telling everybody what you do, trust the process, it does work and it's networking. Your network is your net worth as somebody at the back of the room always says. So this was a sweet little deal, just to go through a couple of deals that I've done on Mastermind. This was one landlord with three properties. They were all um, six bed, all en suite. It came through landlord letters, really nice uh, investing people. You know, they understood the concepts of it all. They understood that they wanted their assets looked after and they understood that by doing rent to rent, you need to make sure that you stay on top of the asset, you look after the asset because you need to keep getting that rented out. Uh, as I say, they wanted the properties looked after and that one, overall, there was two that were next door to each other there, and then there was another one in a different area, and that netted us £1,840. Obviously, that was before COVID hit, and as you'll all know, probably being landlords yourself, the bills tended to go up a bit during that time, so the numbers fluctuate up and down all the time, but uh, it only needed minor decorating, and that was a sweet little deal. The deals that I have taken on, I've never paid a deposit for a rent-to-rent -rent deal, and I've never paid for a refurb on a rent-to-rent -rent deal either, and I wouldn't really. I'd try and negotiate with the landlords to make sure that they're happy to put a level of investment into their own property, and then if they're happy to do so, I will maintain that level for the duration of managing it. This was another deal that we did. This is two houses again, same landlord, uh, not same landlord, different landlord, but those are two houses there. 
This came from referrals. So this came to me from a landlord who, already, who I was already doing rent to rent with. Uh, it's a town centre property. It's an 11 bed. It's a six one, one side and a five the other side. It was newly refurbished. It was a five year guaranteed rent. We had three parking spaces as well, which added on to a bit of the revenue on the side of the property, and that was a 1,420 deal. As you can see with rent to rent, if you do it properly, if you set it up properly, you can make some, some good figures. So for me, it was all about beating, it is there, the poster. Um, I don't own the property, so I, I, I haven't got the one million in property portfolio, but I, I have it. I, I manage other people's properties. So that was always the target and the dream, so to speak, to get out there. So since Mastermind's finished, because obviously we've been going a few years now, I've continued to educate myself. I've continued to uh, look at other sectors. It's all about building up a pot, making sure that that pot has money coming into it. I've grown an investing portfolio in stocks and shares. I like to do Forex trading and things now. Uh, and I make sure that I've got a bit more, so to speak, passive income working for me in the background over the long term. Um, I've grown a lettings business, which we've turned podlets from a rent-to-rent -rent business to a lettings business to over nearly 146 rooms, give or take the deals that we've got going on at the moment. And that's all been in lockdown with, again, my business partner. Uh, I've launched my own podcast, the Property Unleashed podcast. If you haven't listened to it, listen to it. And if you uh, want to leave me a five-star review, please do on iTunes. And I've also uh, started my own rent-to-rent -rent training program where I actually handhold people and make sure that they don't fail. Um, I'm very passionate about that, and I really do enjoy that. So that's something that I'm doing at the moment that I am loving it. So what's next? Uh, it's about growing the rent-to-rent -rent business in 2021. Maybe get a couple more of those. Uh, start investing in my own portfolio, so I'm looking at flat conversions and commercial conversions uh, now that I've got some money to invest myself. Continue to help others who are starting out in their journey, which is what I'm doing, and continue to be the best person I can be by being leaner, fitter, and making sure that I'm there to support everybody in my life. Top tips, trust the process, never stop learning, surround yourself with like-minded people, and don't give up. If you give up, you fail. So as long as you don't give up, you'll be fine. And the last thing is just a quick thank you to Simon and the whole PIN team for the Mastermind program, for putting it all together and for making us a part of it. Of it. Um, my wife, Lisa, who has been my rock, my support, uh, my, my kids who have supported me. I've got to say a massive, massive thank you to my, my big sister. You know, I am the little brother, but she, I wouldn't be stood here now if it was not for her. She invested in me to do this program and, you know, I will repair in full. Uh, my coach, Alex Siri and uh, Billy Turriff, who I have as a mentor. Mastermind 27, you lot, either you're here or you're not here, you know, wherever you are, you're a fantastic bunch of people, and if you ever need me, I'm here for you. My mother and my mother-in-law, I think that's, I've got to the end of that list now. That is me. Get off, as everybody says, but thank you very much for having me. I do hope you got massive value from watching this YouTube video. I'd encourage you to click on the link below to come and do the online training with me. And I've got another video lined up for you which I think is also going to be really useful that you should watch once you've registered for the online training with me. So invest with knowledge, invest with skill. I'll see you very soon.